Hi, today I will present the project I co-manage at Embo called BioIT. As the website says, BioIT is a community initiative that was established at the European Molecular Biology Laboratory, EMBO, to build, support and promote computational biology activities at the Institute. The project operates in a context, EMBO, with specific dynamics, implying specific challenges that BioIT was built to address. EMBO has an open science policy that mandates researchers to work in an open way. This is in line with the need to design for sustainability, also because the work, especially the work of service entities, is distributed across sites, hence countries. Moreover, people can work at Emble for a maximum of nine years, so there are always newcomers as well as people leaving. Our training program needs to be responsive to these cost of changes of personnel, and the information should always be easily accessible, as well as the activities should be carefully designed to reach everyone. To address these challenges, the BioIT project was structured around four pillars, which I will present in the next slides. In doing so, I hope to provide an example of, and the motivation to, structure similar projects in other research institutes. Think of the BioIT project as a home for the community of computational biologists and, more in general, scientists at EMBO. The foundation of this house is training, providing researchers with the essential skills and knowledge to build their computational expertise. Training is designed to be across sites, so often in hybrid format, with even multiple in-person rooms. It's designed to be compatible with the different schedule and learning preferences, so it goes from e-learning materials to seminars to workshops. It needs to adapt quickly, so we built a catalog of past courses from which ML personnel can consult our offer and express their needs. And finally, it has a strong community component with people volunteering to train their peers and providing a pot of contact for specific topics or expertise. But even high quality training is useless. If once acquired the technical skills, one has no way to test, improve and use them. Hence, like the plumbing and electrical system of a house, the BioIT infrastructure does the work behind the scenes to make sure that researchers have the tools to operate. The BioIT project, together with other entities at EMBO, maintains multiple coding platforms and an EMBO instance of GitLab, where researchers keep their software projects. But it's not only about supporting them to work. It's also about supporting them to communicate and collaborate. We also host and maintain tools like the Envil chat, survey tools, and notepads. The bonus advantage of working and collaborating on the same open source and internally maintained tools is that this is also a spontaneous way to disseminate best practices, even beyond Envil. Like a house's walls, windows, and doors, the information pillar entrusts us with the task to define and communicate the scope and mission of the project, internally and publicly. The BioT website is our main information hub. The homepage is split and the knowledge categorized into BioID's four pillars, but multiple guides, like the newcomer's guide, are available for a thematic and directed consultation of the website. In addition, our website hosts information about other support entities at EMBO, the EMBO centers, and is the place where we and them announce and manage registration to our events. Being vast in domain, the information in the website poses the issue of easy obsolescence. We are aware of the issue and have several measures in place to address it. Finally, and ultimately one of the main fuel and purpose of BioIT, we all feel under the same roofs thanks to the community culture infused in the project. BioIT is mostly a community effort, with people at Emble volunteering for training activities, running events, writing documentation, developing tools, new features, etc. We have community activities like a blog, coding clubs, the BioIT task force, which is the community-wide meetings, and the grassroots table, a list of members available for consultation. Managing all these volunteer contributions implies designing a way for acknowledgement and benefit. This is reflected in our governance structure, which we define a duocracy. Whoever decides to do something takes decisions about it, provided that all of this happens in reciprocal respect. So, this is BioIT at EMBO. The take-home message of this presentation is that setting up a training project inside any research environment requires something more than training. Indeed, training should be supported by an infrastructure that allows to use the new skills acquires and that support exchange of expertise and information to ultimately promote a community culture where no one's roles and competencies are isolated. Thank you. I welcome question and discussion about this topic. Feel free to reach me, Lisanna Paladin, at any point during or after the conference.